Hi, this is Rick Whittemore with your Austin Market Update, uh, December 2021 and year-end kind of recap of what happened in 2021. It was a wild ride to say the least. We're going to cover a couple of uh, great topics before we get to a little bit of data. Some of the amazing records that were broken in 2021, the median price rose 31% in 2021. Sales volume of homes was also up 30%. Some pretty staggering numbers there. A couple of big factors that are affecting our market right now. We, of course, we had the pandemic effect, uh, but Austin now is really becoming more and more Silicon Hills. Um, many, many tech companies are moving here. A couple of the big ones, Tesla has their big gigafactory. Uh, in East Austin that's ready to open any day. Of course, as you know, Tesla announced earlier this year or last year that they were going to relocate their headquarters from California to Austin. Uh, some other big players in the market are Apple. Apple is building a billion dollar campus in North Austin right now. They will be finishing construction this year. It is built to house up to 15,000 employees. There's already about 5,000 Apple employees in town right now. So they're poised for a very big uh, group of employees coming to the Austin area from the Bay Area in the next uh, probably 12 to 24 months. Another big player in the Austin area is Facebook. Facebook has a presence of about 2,000 employees in the Austin area right now. Uh, last month, they just leased 33 floors of a high rise in downtown Austin that is currently being built. Uh, so that's going to be some real serious commitment on Facebook's part. They're going to be adding thousands of more employees to the Austin area in the next two years. A couple of the other big players, Amazon, of course, is a big one. They're uh, bringing in lots and lots of more uh, back, back end employees into the office in the tech field. And of course, Samsung. Samsung announced a few months ago that they are building a $17 billion plant uh, just east of Austin. And rumor has it there's another big semiconductor company who is kind of circling the Austin area right now, who is interested in building about a $25 billion plant in the Austin area. So we really don't anticipate any of this changing any time in the future. So what does this mean for you? If you're a homeowner, you're just kind of sitting pretty right now. Uh, prices continue to go up staggering amounts, so you're going to be in great shape uh, when time comes to sell. If you're a buyer, it means you're going to be up for a little bit of a challenge. And if you're thinking about buying in 2022, you should probably give me a call so we can kind of put together strategies of how we can help you out. A couple other big changes that are affecting the Austin market, investors. Investors have always been interested in buying homes and condos in the Austin market, uh, much more so now. We've seen probably about a 10% increase in investors from all around the world focusing on Austin and snapping up homes. So that makes it even tougher for the average person out there to buy a home. Another interesting thing that's going on is luxury sales. Luxury sales in Austin are just off the hook. Luxury homes properties are selling as quickly as a $500,000 home. They're not staying on the market more than a few days. More and more people with means are moving to the Austin area and wanting to live here, and they're snapping up the really expensive properties pretty quickly. So Austin is quickly becoming a pretty strong luxury market as well. And last but not least, interest rates. Interest rates are starting to creep up right now, and we are seeing uh, more and more likelihood that rates will increase this year. In fact, the Fed met today, as of this filming, they decided not to raise interest rates for another month. But they're saying in March, interest rates are going to be going up. Uh, mortgage rates have already started going up. So we're going to see probably a pretty significant bump over the next six months. So you would think that might slow home sales down. I don't think it will. There's still so many people wanting to move to the Austin area that can afford to live here that they're going to continue buying homes, whether they, whether we're de, 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 not depending on what the interest rates are. So if you're thinking, again, thinking about buying a home, now is really a fantastic time to buy that home. Now let's dive into a couple numbers real quick that I think you'll find pretty interesting. All right, let's talk a little bit of data right now. The average sale price in the Austin area in January of 2020 was $375,000 for a home. In December of 2021, average price $600,000. That's an increase in two years of $225,000 in the average price. Median price, numbers are pretty similar to that. January of 2020, 300,000. December of 2021, 470,000 was the median price. Median price is up 170,000. Inventory, inventory has kind of been our Achilles heel in the Austin market. Uh, so if you look at the previous four years average, 
about two months of homes on the market during the last uh, during the earlier four years. In the last year, 2022, we've seen about three quarters of a month of average market time for homes. So really what that means is there's just not that many homes out there available. And when you hear the average inventory, if you're looking at you know a half a month, a month's worth of homes on the market. So of course that means if no new homes come on the market within a month, there would be zero homes on the market. Um, those numbers I think can be a little bit skewed because there's a number of companies out there, Zillow, Open Door, et cetera, who have incredibly long market time. They have a history of massively overpricing their homes and their homes stay on the market quite a long time. So if you were to factor those out, that three quarters of a month of inventory is probably gonna be closer to about a half a month. So interesting uh, kind of some numbers there, I think. Just kind of diving into a couple of the counties real quick before we wrap up. Um, Travis County, average price January of 2020, 425,000. December 2021, average price of a home, 710,000. That's an increase of $285,000 in two years. Hayes County, January of 2020, 330,000 was the average price of a home back then. December of 2021 wrapped it up at $530,000, $200,000 higher than it was two years ago. Williamson County, our last county, January of 2020, average price was 310,000. December 2021, 505. That's an increase of $195,000 uh, over those two years. So again, so again, I really don't see things changing. Uh, if you're really thinking about buying, I would suggest uh, getting in touch with myself, of course, or your realtor real quickly so that we can put a plan together and help you get in your home this year. And if you're thinking of selling, same thing. Uh, don't take for granted that the market is the way it is. Uh, there's certainly things that we can do to position you uh, to get the most money for the sale of your home. Any questions, please feel free to reach out. Thanks.